So today we're continuing to talk about probabilities. We're going to be multiplying probabilities. A lot of these questions are pretty easy. Uh, still a lot of vocabulary, still a lot of words. So hopefully you can uh, get better and better at that as you move along. Uh, probability of independent events. We talked about independent versus dependent events back in, uh, I think, the first section. Independent events are like rolling dice. If you roll a die once, and then you roll another die, um, the probabilities aren't going to affect each other. So whatever a die comes up with, if it gets a six, if you roll it again, it resets the die. It's not like, oh no, I gave you a six, I better not give you a six again. Die, dice aren't like that. Um, a, a key phrase that you need to look for is with replacement. So with replacement is like uh, if you have a bag of marbles and you take one of the marbles out of the bag and then you put the marble back in the bag, that is with replacement. You, you are replacing the marble in the bag. So that would be independent events. To find them, you'll just find two probabilities and multiply them. So um, that operation is pretty easy. Probability of dependent events. Dependent events would be like if you had a bag of marbles. You take one marble out and you get rid of it. And then you find the next probability of picking a marble. You have fewer marbles, so the probabilities change. So those are dependent events. And that's without replacement, meaning you do not put the marble back in the bag, not replacing it. Uh, the probability is going to be multiplying again. The second probability, though, is going to change based on the first one. So it's conditioned, or it's dependent on what happened on the first time. It depends what you did the first time. So to find some probabilities, you roll two uh, fair six-sided dice. So here's some dice right there. Find the probability of a two. Well, there's one two on a die, so that would be one out of six sides. Then a probability of a three. So there's one three out of six sides. So you'd get 136 is your answer. The probability of two fours. Probability of a four is one four. There's one four out of six sides, so it's one sixth. And probability of another four, since they're independent events, it's the same probability. So it's one sixth again. So it's one thirty sixth. Uh, now we'll roll the die three times. Probability of a six, then a six, then not a six. We don't want to get six, six, six. So six, six, and not a six. So probability of getting a six, there's one six out of six sides. Probability of getting a six again is one sixth. And then not a six. How many not sixes are on a die? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five are not sixes. So it's five out of six. So this would give you five out of 216. You could leave your answer like this, um, but just to let you know, if you write it as a, a decimal or as a percent, you should write this answer as 2%, uh, move the decimal two places, 2.3%. 2.3%. Uh, and then the next number, probability of two of the same number. Two of the same number. So the first time that you roll, you can get any number. It doesn't really matter what you get the first one. It matters what you get the second one. It has to be the same as the first one. So then it's multiplied the probability of the same number. So probability of any number would be 6 out of 6. And then the probability that you get the same number, whatever you got on the first one, to get the same thing, there's only one of those. Whatever it is, we don't know what number it is. But whatever it is, there's only one of them. So it would be 1 out of 6. So this simplifies to be uh, 1 sixth to get the probability of two of the same number. Uh, and I could actually show you that on my sample space. Here are dice. So two of the same number, you get 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, 4 and 4, 5 and 5, 6 and 6. Wow. That would be six options out of how many total options are there. Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 36. So there's six out of 36 ways of getting doubles. Doubles is what it's called, uh, two of the same number. And that's what we got. 6 out of 36 is equivalent to 1 sixth. So you have 1 sixth chance of getting doubles. So if you're playing Monopoly, if you're familiar with that board game Monopoly, if you're in jail, 
got to roll doubles to get out of jail. So you got one in six chance. Uh, okay, spinner questions. Spinner questions are pretty common on uh, standardized tests. I don't know why they like spinners. But uh, every section is equally, uh, has equal area, so everything's equally likely. Uh, so when you spin it, you're going to spin twice. To hit a two, there's only one two, so that'd be one eight. And then to hit another two, to hit a two again, would be one eight. These are independent events. The spinner doesn't remember what it just hit. It resets every probability. So you get one over 64. Uh, and I'll let you see if you could answer B, C, and D. So see if you could answer those. We have a bag contains seven red, four blue, six yellow marbles. If three marbles are selected in succession, in succession means one after the other, in order. Pick one, pick one, pick one, in succession. With replacement, it's important that you notice with replacement, that means you're putting the marble back in the bag after you pick the marble. Uh, what's the probability of selecting a blue, then a yellow, then a red? So see if you could answer that. 3.4%. Uh, the next question, the host of a game show is drawing chips from a bag to determine the prizes for which contestants will play. Of the 10 chips in the bag, six show television, three show vacation, and one shows car. If the host draws the chips at random and does not replace them, really important that you notice, does not replace them. So if they're not replacing them, these are dependent events does not replace dependent. So that means our denominators are going to change. You're going to have fewer chips as you move along. So find the probability picking a vacation. There are three vacation chips, three ways to succeed with vacations, three chips. And there are 10 total chips in the back. But then you pick a car chip, probability picking a car chip. Well, you have one fewer chip because you just picked a vacation chip. So instead of 10, you have nine chips left. And it's one. So it'd be 3 ths which is 1 third. 30th. Yep. Oh, sorry. 1 30th. Uh, and then TV, then TV. Uh, there are six televisions out of 10. And then another TV, if you've chosen a TV out of the bag, you have not six TV well, chips. Third. You have five chips, nine. So you have 30 over 90, which is one third. So notice uh, playing for a TV is much more common than playing for a car or a vacation, probably because TVs are cheaper. Uh, okay, the next question, let's quickly review card playing tips. 52 cards. We have... Can, can we give out this information in the quiz or test? I'm not going to give this on the test. That's why I'm writing it down right now, so you can win it. You can play cards at the end of class. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So you have 13 hearts. You have 13 diamonds. So this is heart, this is diamond, this is club, and this is spade. Spade. Spade or a tree. It should look like a shovel as a spade. Uh, and then each one has ace, each one has two through ten, and each one has jack, queen, king. Jack, Queen, King. Uh, we don't play with jokers and 52 cards. We just leave it at 52 cards. Just make it easy. We don't play with jokers. <laughs> uh, diamonds. So probability of getting a diamond. Notice this question says without replacement. So you're not putting the cards back. Uh, diamond. There are 13 diamonds out of 52 cards. And then picking a club without replacement would be 13 clubs out of 51 cards. And then another diamond. 
where you have 15 cards left. And there are 12, because you just picked a diamond, so you have one fewer diamond. And I'll come back to that and get the answer. One, two, three. A one, two, three is kind of weird, because there are no ones. There are aces. So ace, two, three. Uh, how many aces are in the deck of cards? One, two, three. Four. Where's the Oh, we did it. Four, fifteen. And then <coughs> two, two out of... So there are two, how many cards, how many twos? Four, that's what. Four twos out of 51. And then four threes out of 50 cards. And we'll get that in a second. And then ace, ace, ace. Zero. And it's probably going to be very unlikely to get ace, ace, ace. You have four over 52. Three, because you're not replacing them. Three over 51, and then two over 50. And uh, let's get all those numbers. Uh, so next we have eight seniors, seven juniors, six sophomores, five freshmen are in a class together. The teacher needs a group of five to go to the office to do an errand, do a chore, probably for the auction coming up. If the teacher selects the group randomly, find the probability that the group will have two seniors, two juniors, one sophomore. So the thing to notice about a question like this is that you're taking a group of two seniors, two at a time, so if you had two seniors, whichever way you order those two seniors, it's the same group of two seniors. The order doesn't matter. So we'll use combinations. You have eight seniors. You're choosing two of them. That's the number of ways you can pick two seniors out of eight. Times, you have seven juniors. You're picking two of them. And you have six sophomores, and you're picking one of them. And then in your denominator, you put your totals. Your totals would be 15 plus 5 plus 6, 26 students to pick from. Out of the 26 to pick from, you're going to pick a total of 5 for a group. Uh, and then we can calculate that. Uh, okay, on the next question, you uh, might not be familiar with the game Settlers of Catan, or Settlers of Catan, if you're from West Virginia. Uh, it is a game. Uh, it's a board game. Uh, there's also a version of it called Cities and Knights. Uh, you roll three dice, every person on their turn, you roll three dice. It's a board game. You have one white die, one red die, kind of like this one I showed you. One event die. The event die is like this. Uh, it has six sides, three black ships, so right there's a black ship on the front. Three castles, a blue, a yellow, and a green castle. Um, so what the game looks like, if you haven't seen it, uh, here's a picture of a game that I played uh, last weekend. And you have, uh, you have, oh, maybe I could write on this. So you have roads that you can build. So if you look at the different, if you look at the different um, tiles, like that tile up there, uh, it's light green. That gets you a certain resource, um, and you use resources to buy things. Uh, this is a different tile. This red one right there is different. Uh, here's a green tile. They all give you different resources. And to get the resource, you have to have a settlement built next to it. So this settlement would be getting this color. So anytime a five is rolled, you would get a green, which is a sheep. If a 9 is rolled, notice I have two settlements next to this 9. If a 9 is rolled, if anybody rolls a 9, then I would get a bunch of red, which is brick. And actually, these are cities. This is a settlement. They look different. Cities get two. So I would be getting four cards that are brick, red cards. And this one down here would just be getting one on like a five. So basically, you have to build stuff to get points, and whoever has the most points in the end wins, is the basic idea of the game. Maybe I'll bring it in sometime and show you. OK, so probability you roll a 2 on the red die. A 2 on the red die is 1 sixth. A 4 on the white die, there's only one 4 on the white die, so it's 1 sixth. And then a green castle. There's three castles, and only one of them is green. So it would be 1 sixth. So your probability of getting a 2, a 4, and a green is 1 out of 2 sixteenths. Uh, it's really common in this game to get a sum of a 7, and sum of a 7 you could get in all these ways. 
which there are six ways to get a sum of a 7. So it's 6 out of 36 ways to get a sum of a 7. So what did I say? 6 out of 36? And then a black ship, there are three black ships out of uh, 6. So you'd have 1 6 times 1 half is 1 12.